Hello and welcome to Morton Hall in Bury St Edmunds. Yes, it's sunny today. We are going for a 15k run, building up to our May half marathon in Manchester. So yes, we are about to start a course that I've done before, going to Cattershall, going to Pakenham, going to Thurston, so we'll go through the little villages so we'll be able to show you some really interesting um, back alleys where um, we can show you some really nice scenery across the fields across Suffolk. So yes, let's get going. Yes, I'm out here with the pigs. Five kilometers done. You can have a look around us. These little back roads, little country roads are awesome. Um, just taking a little break after 5k. The last time we did a run we did breaks after 4k, I think because we're doing a lot bigger distances. You know, after 5k makes sense. I felt a little niggle in my left knee and left hip um, this break has uh, actually helped quite a bit to be honest let's make sure the sun's going the right way so you can see me properly depends if i decide to show you all around here um, but yeah no, <clears throat> good progress so far i've shown a few things on the camera which is good um, let's have a look at my pace shall we because last time remember i said about trying to get to seven minutes per kilometre um, current distance obviously 5 kilometres, current pace 6.52, so we're just under, which is great, not too bad at all, not too shabby. Um, so this 15k will probably take roughly about 2 hours, with the bits of recording that I'm doing probably. Um, and is, you know, it's quite a bit faster than my, my half marathon 
uh, pace. So like I say, I'm trying to get to trying to get to seven, but you know, if it goes a little bit slower than that, that's absolutely fine. But yeah, all good so far. 34 minutes gone. I'll probably do another break at another 5k. I'm just going to refuel and actually have some breakfast. Oh, lovely Sterotoir can. Who's coming out here drinking? Um, but yeah, tractor's doing his job. He's probably wondering what the fuck I'm doing. But there you go. Yeah, let's go have some brekkie and then kick on. Hello everybody, 10k in, oh man, this is a hard one I remember because of all the hills, the first 5k was very flat, whereas the next 5k was extremely hilly, all uphill pretty much, um, I've actually stopped here just after 10k, I think it's 10.59, pace of 6.57, um, yeah, the, the pace has gone a bit slower just purely because of all the hills. Uh, I tried to keep it under 7 where possible. Uh, but yeah, uh, injury update. Uh, knee's not so bad, and um, hip isn't so bad either, to be quite honest. Uh, can't complain. It's um, I'm feeling a little more like achy rather than sore. Uh, energy is a little low, I guess, but not too bad. Um, yeah, so we've got about four, four and a half to go. We've gone past Cattershaw, Pakenham and Thurston and we're kind of on our way back. So we're recrossing the railway um, back into Bury St Edmunds, which is down that way-ish. So yeah, down that way through Morton Hall. So we'll go past the airfield, um, Skyliner and then back into Morton Hall where the car is. So yes, I'll uh, do a little bit more filming further in, but see you there. Ah, run complete. Oh, that was hard, that last couple of kilometers there, really had to push. 15 kilometers done, 1 hour 43, which is 6 minutes 55 per kilometer. Wow, I made it back in one piece. Uh, I definitely need to do some strength and conditioning, some pain in my left hip and left knee. Uh, hopefully it'll be all right after a little bit of rest. But yeah, really happy with that one. Got lots of footage, lots of pictures as I was going around, so yeah. I'm a sweaty as hell. I need to get home and shower, man. See you later. <laughs> 